No, no, the vest is out. Oh, there's a huge amount of carnage. Oh, there's another car collecting your hand. It's oh, an absolute monumental crash. Cars has been affecting as well. A Poodle Boy is off the track. Well, hello folks and welcome to what is round 10 of the late breaking online racing here league here and we are at the uh, the wonderful track that is uh, the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Um, always provides such excitement in real life so we're hoping that it can uh, be equally or a lot more exciting in the late breaking online racing league and usually we provide a, uh, a rather fun race. Nine races before us, we've got another 10 after this one. This is the middle point of the league and uh, We've had a bit of a shock as Toxic Tomato has absolutely smashed the record for consecutive wins in a row and uh, leads the championship and has now equaled the record for most podiums in a row. Both were held by Caesar, uh, but now they're almost both held by Toxic. We'll see if he can do it this race. We're on board with Purple Petrol as a tradition, the longest serving man in the league. And he starts his lap here at the tight, twisting track in the Middle East while the sun goes down. Sounds like I'm starting an Arctic Monkey song. Ben, you're in the Renault. How are you feeling about today? Um, I, I have to say I don't hold much love for Abu Dhabi, both in terms of enjoyment of the circuit and in terms of pace, but uh, every every race provides entertainment here at the Late Breaking Online Racing League, and I'm sure even Abu Dhabi won't be an exception. I can confirm that we won't have rain like we unbelievably saw in Season 1, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, looking forward to getting involved in some midfield battles. You've got to be very careful around the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix because there's a lot of open corners, a lot of dropped curbs, a lot of runoff area. You can easily pick up um, two, three, four penalties going around here. You can validate lap times very easily. You've got to be careful. Purple Petrol crosses the line with a 137.8 and Aoi Asahina crosses with uh, seven tenths slower than that. Oh, hang on, never mind. Nova Vest has gone two seconds faster than everyone else. No vest on the softs, Purple Petra on the softs, and Bullet Boy's dropped in on the hard tyres between them. So he's in second place, the fastest man on the hard tyres. Let's go aboard with the first medium runner, actually the only medium tyre runner, and that is Psycho Sane. So, uh, there you go. The, the first incredibly competitive lap comes from Season 1 champion Khans, a 135.2. Yeah, that's right, Jack Hickey's back in on Mercedes. Everyone go mad. The, the old the old Meister, the old Maestro, Jack Hickey, can't the 13. He's not like a Toro Rosso anymore. He's there in the silver arrow Mercedes. And uh, it's a great look for him, I've got to say. Uh, teammates, how we got man, who isn't here, unfortunately, this week. Ben, feel good about having the Hickster back? Oh, yeah. I mean, Hickey's such a, a, a great person to have in the league, to have around late breaking. He's enthusiastic for us, for the league. Uh, and obviously he is quick as well not sure what his pace is going to be on this game obviously but yeah um, love the Hickster uh, sad to lose Caesar of course he's had great success in the league a lot of great battles with some front runners taking multiple victories so sad to see him go but um, the league carries on and um, yeah the revolving door <laughs> Hickey comes in to replace Caesar so yeah uh, love both guys and great to have Vicks the back. Hang on, people are cutting corners left, right, and centre here. We've got seven minutes, lad, lads. Just chill your beans. Like, oh, I was gone. But doesn't mean you can run riot. Uh, Toxic Tomato, our championship leader, is currently cutting the corner like a maniac. So this lap won't last. I don't know why he's skimming across every corner on hard tyres that he set his lap on. Ah, uh, Two Spell Wizard is on a lap. He is up by one tenth in the first sector. That gives him 0.12 tenths to gain over the rest of the lap to jump over this and reclaim provisional pole in this in this qualifying session. God, I tell you what, I'm so excited that I cannot already woot for loot suit. Um, for all you non-Scottish people, that was uh, I can't wait for lights out. I mean, even for Scottish people, I'm not not sure they'd have got that. DJ Marshall in a tour or so. DJ Marshall, he's in sixth or so. 1.7 down in the second sector as he cuts every corner to get back to the pit lane. Beautiful. 
Oh, Bullet Boy is improved. Oh, he's on the medium tyre. That's just the. He's on the medium, and he is. <laughs> he is one hundredth of a second away from being second, let alone third. That's just revolting. Just so you're aware, folks, it, Bullet Boy got pole last race. We give a uh, we give a point out for that, so we got the extra point there. But if you were to put Bullet Boy's qualifying time into the esports race that happened at the same time around the same track, Bullet Boy would be eleventh in esports. That tells you the quality of this league. Yeah, that tells you the absolute quality we have now in the late breaking on my racing league. We've really stepped up. Although you don't see the esports drivers, <laughs> we're a few seasons in, but we're, we're getting there. Um, the esports drivers don't cut every corner possible to get back to the pit lane, though. Highway to the psycho scene. Bow, 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 bow. Um, is that we always want to see it competitive at the front. Then the strategy, one stop. I think so. Um... I checked it the other day, so I'm on the soft tyre, so I'm presuming that means I concluded it was. <laughs> ben doesn't understand his own thoughts on his own strategy, folks. Purple Petrol is racing around. The other flags are sector 2 and 3, that would just be drivers slowing down to start the lap. Yeah, there's a car there. There's Jack kicking out of the way. Purple Petrol's three tenths up currently on his best lap. Someone's just jumped up there. I'm not sure who that was. Um... Magnus 8th, Hulu Boy 9th, Johannes 10th. No, so it's someone below you. I think it might have been Mayer. He's going in two one hundredths of a second below you. No, that happened a few minutes ago. Oh, maybe it's a Hulu Boy. I'm so sorry, whoever it was. Someone. Someone. You'll find a new way of living. Beautiful. Uh, thank you. Purple Petra coming around the final corner now. He's really pushing this. Racing point. Oh god, I struggle so much not to say full senior. Uh, he improves, but unfortunately not enough to improve his position overall. Uh, ben coming through the final sector and really, I mean, are you getting out of the way of the car? I mean, I'm oh, gonna, this... I'm gonna hedge a bet that Toxic's gonna be faster than me. Let's get on board with Toxic, shall we? Because he's about to start his lap, and then we'll jump back to Ben and we'll see what happens. Because I think. Lopez has retired from the session after popping it up into fifth place. So that's a good proof for him. He's on the medium tyres and currently in the top five. But here we go then. The fastest man in the championship so far. The man with the most victories. The man with the most podiums. The man with the... I think he's got the most pole positions as well. Is now on a lap. Oh, the crowd go wild. as toxic. Swings it round. Ben struggling through the final sector. The two Renaults are pushing hard. May has jumped into fourth place on three lap old soft tyres. That's going to hinder his strategy at the start of this race, I think. Toxic now rounding the two 90 degree angle corners. No MS retires, so he can't improve on his provisional pole time. Toxic runs wide on the final corner, but I think it's not going to be enough to stop him. He goes into pole. Two tenths faster, 134.2. Bang! Goes into third place. The Renault's one and three line of stern on the right hand side of the track. Toxic, two spell won't improve. Oh, Bullet Boy spun on the final corner. He won't improve either. And Meng is all going into the pits, so the top six currently can go nowhere. And DJ Marshall's in the pits. Ben grabs third at the last cast. Toxic gets part. It's a great result for Renault. Let's get to the race, folks. Let's get ready to rumble. As Toxic Tomato leads us away for the formation lap here in Abu Dhabi. Halfway through the season. It's pretty exciting stuff. I wonder if everyone could, to uh, could topple Toxic in the second half of the season for he has had a formidable start to this. After not scoring points for the first two races, he now leads by an epic margin. No less a fantastic qualifying session. He, he slots into second. We've got an all, I'd say, yellow and black front three, realistically. The horse is as close to it as the Renault could be. Ben, your best qualifying session of the entire season so far with an incredible lap for you. You're into P3, feeling good. Two Spell Wizard, he's, uh, he's up to fourth and he will be challenging Bing straight off the line and Two Spell can be quick but the man to look out for is Bullet Boy on the medium tyres, the highest of the qualifiers on the medium tyres, there's only two of them in the top ten and he is pacey, only three tenths off on a harder compound. 
Maynard's done well, he's up to 6th. And Lopez, the other medium qualifier, he's in 7th. Psycho like Saint in 8th, Carlton guys, and the return of the Hick. He's in 10th place, I'm going to say. He's good to see him sitting in the top 10. The hang is, he will be starting 11th. DJ Marshall, far away from his favourite in P8. He's out to 12th. The uh, racing points, Blind still, 13th to 14th. With Aoya Sahina, he lines the back of the grid in the other alpha, P15. Five red lights are out. We've already had the start super quick. And it looks as though Toxic has got away well. Ben's done a great job as well. He's side by side and there's a little bit of contact. But they're both through. And it looks as though Toxic lost the back end massively going through the second part of that first section. Two Spell Wizard is also up to third place. So they haven't overtaken the, uh, the wreckage of Mania yet. So technically the standings haven't updated properly. But... Uh, Ben, great start for you, up to uh, effective P2 in the race. Now, the best, the biggest loser off the start, he's in P5 now. Although it's telling me he's on soft ties, which he, uh, he is, of course. Bullet Boy's on the medium ties. Sorry, I was getting them confused because that's where Bullet Boy was at the start of the race. Bullet Boy down one place, of course. Um, and that's all because Mayer effectively is still in, in the lead. He's, he's retired. But his car is still going around as an AI driver. So just a heads up there, Ben. There is an AI car driving around in front of you. But I have set the difficulty of them quite high. So it shouldn't be super easy to catch up to them. And they shouldn't be driving at two miles an hour through the corners. So, the gap at the top now. Toxic Tomato leads with his teammates. A 1-2 for Renault. 1.5 seconds is the gap coming towards the end of this lap. And Nova Vest, it goes from bad to worse. Picks up a three-second time penalty. That's going to be tough. And he runs wide again there. Two spell hunting down the two Renaults. I told you to watch out for him. He's right on the back of Ben. Nova Vest and Bullet Boy right next to each other side by side. And there's yellow flags in sector two. Everyone seems to be okay. Yep, everyone's fine, unless... No, no, the vest is out! Oh, there's a huge amount of car damage. Oh, there's another car collect your hands. It's oh, an absolute monumental crash. Cars has been affecting as well. Hapuli boy is off the track. That's three drivers effectively gone. Cars is limping home with heart without a front wing. Hapuli boy, has he got a front wing? Yeah, he somehow managed to get away without any damage. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We're down to uh, uh, 11 drivers now completely unaffected by a crash. That was huge. Back to the front now, though. Oh, DJ Marshall, sorry, and Lopez side by side through the chicane in the middle of the track after the long straight. DJ Marshall goes round the outside of the Ferrari driver and takes P7. We said he loved P8, but he's gone, now. Oh, I'll have enough of that. I'll go up another another place. And uh, Lopez desperately trying to catch him. It looks like DJ's got the better setup for racing. And there's a virtual safety car. That is, I think, the first of the whole season, if I'm not wrong. Uh, interestingly, Mainer's AI has gone into the pits to change tyres. I mean, good strategy, although he's putting on another set of softs, so I'm not too sure. Pru have gone for the hards myself and tried to take him to the end, but uh, this is going to stabilise everything. Unfortunately, a real safety car would have been very helpful for the likes of uh, for Kargs and Hapuli Boy, who are about six, seven seconds back, and it's in, it's over. Yes, we are racing away. It never said anything on my screen. So we are away. 1.7 seconds is the gap up front. But the closest fight at the moment looks to be Bullet Boy and Two Spell Wizard. We're only three laps in. I told you it was going to be more exciting in real life. And boy, is it already. Oh, the Poodle Boy's gone. No, the Poodle Boy's gone. He is completely round after the second corner. I wonder if he's burnt out those tights. And there's been a lot of overtakes going on. Oh, that's Mango dropping back through the field. So Mango's going very slowly now. I don't know why. But Mania's car is not... I mean, he's an AI. I don't want to focus so much on him. But he's not driving quickly through the field. I hope no one gets caught up on that. The fight for second place is... Uh it's not over yet, folks. There are three cars all over. The, well, including Hockey in the back of Hockey. And then Psycho Saint and DJ Marshall aren't that far behind either. So, Ben, your fight is not over anytime soon. Um, currently, Toxic still leads. Two Spell Wizard is in second. Ben has dropped to third, but he is being harried by Bullet Boy. And he's gone for a bit of a late lunch while Ben goes a little wide in that corner. DJ Marshall has got past Psycho Saint. So, DJ Marshall is up to fifth. Psycho Saint sixth. Lopez is starting place in seventh. Purple Pedro is eighth. Hickey's up to ninth. I always up to tenth after all the car. Cards is managed. Cards for Carnage is in 11th. Mayor is in 12th. And I think actually racing. And the Poodle Boy is in 13th place. So, Mayor, that's why he was going slowly. Can I just say, 
Probably the best sportsman we've got in the, in the league. Twice that's happened now for Mainer. He's rejoined the session, got into his car, and then stopped off the track, on the straight, to let everyone go past, so he becomes last and then carry on. Yellow flag. Oh, Carl's out. Where's Carl's binned it? Sector one. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's, he's on the right-hander of the, um, the, the right-left. So that's, we're down to 12 drivers now, folks. Who would have thought that Abu Dhabi could have been so lethal? And Bullet Boy is right on the back of, uh, of Two Spell Wizard. And Psycho saying Lopez and DJ Marshall are all nose to tail through the third sector as well. That's really heating up. Abu Dhabi always seems to cause us some issues when recording. So we hope we can bring a proper full length race to everyone watching. Bullet Boy has got such an... Oh, and Two Spell decides to chuck it into the pits early. Then you join in? No, you stay out for another lap. So two spot Lewis getting the undercut on the cars around him. Purple Petrol's left the session. No! Don't do it to me, perps. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. You're a veteran. Well, he's got DRS as well, and Dom's got a massive straight line setup on, so this could be a real threat for Ben. This is going to be a tough straight. Although he's not got a lot of DRS, Ben's got a lot more in the tank. And DJ Marshall is gaining down the straight, although he's not using a lot of ERS either. So that's really promising for DJ's race. If he gets onto the podium, that'll be the first time since Belgium season one that DJ's finished on the podium, where he's finishing second place. He's coming for Ben. Will he go for the late breaking maneuver? We know he loves to dive bomb. He's gone to the inside. He breaks late and makes the corner. Ben tries to switch back, but DJ Marshall covers off all four tyres off the track there, so that probably was a warning for DJ, but DJ Marshall up into third, and Mayo at the same time go around the outside of Mr. Asahina in the Alfa Romeo. He's up to sixth place now, with Lopez right behind Hocking as well. It's all kicking off. Ben misses the apex. Lopez hits it nicely. Ben's going out for another lap while DJ comes in. The undercut is effective here, but you need to... Oh, what a corner from Lopez. The amount of traction he got off on those medium tyres, and the move is done before turn one. That was a great drive off the corner from Lopez. Ben couldn't do anything about it. Yellow flags in sectors one and two. I'm not sure who that's for. Me. Did you make another mistake? Well, uh, yeah, I've lost my front wing and... Oh, wow, yeah. Bullet Boy, right before the long straight, three tenths behind Toxic Tomato. He's got great drive off the corner. DRS is open. Will we see a change for the leader? Will my game crash? We just don't know anymore. Bullet Boy pulls to the inside. They're side by side going into the chicane. Will to will contact. Who's coming out on top? Bullet Boy's got the inside. There's another bashing of tyres, but it's all fair in love and war whether he needs to. Bullet Boy, though, foot down. Toxic holds the lead, but the slipstream is on. Bullet Boy not using any ERS. What's that all about? He did that last race, and it cost him because he ended up having contact. That unfortunately cost him the race. Mayna has been passed by Two Spell, so Two Spell is back up into P3. And because of the time on fresh tyres he's going, then Mayna is coming back at him actually, might not be all over. Goes round the outside. Can he get the place back? Oh, Two Spell just gives the cheeky squeeze. Harsh but fair in my eyes. Um, two Spell has got the gap up front close down to less than 17 seconds. So that means he will jump both the two leaguers as it stands. And Bullet Boy picks up a three second time penalty. That could be disastrous as. Toxic Pits, Bullet Boy takes the lead. My tyres were on something like 65%, so I can't see how those who are on mediums are going to want to stop it. I, I'm presuming they're two stopping. While you were saying that, absolute carnage has ensued. DJ Marshall, Psycho Saint, and Lopez went three wide into a corner, and somehow DJ Marshall and Psycho Saint are still side by side. Oh my god, DJ Marshall backs out at the exact right moment, otherwise, there would have been absolute carnage between those guys. Well, this is all over current provisional P6 for what will be P4 in total. The only two men in the top eight not to pick now, I believe, are um, Mena and Aoi Asahina. And let the slipstream fest begin. Can anyone capitalise in front of Psycho saying He can see the back end of Aoi Asahina as well, not too far off in front. 
It looks like Lopez is the closest. Side of goes really defensive early on because he goes how late these guys break. DJ Monashal does manage to get alongside momentarily. Does the switch back move, <laughs> hits the curb, and it's almost alongside uh, Psycho Sutton coming out of a chicane. DJ Marshall is trying desperately to get past Psycho saying, can he break late round the outside? Will it happen again? He does. He's technically got his nose in front from the corner. DJ Marshall holds on. Will he squeeze? He does. And DJ Marshall gets in front of Psycho Saints. And Bullet Boy also pits. Bullet Boy has come out. 1.6 behind Toxic. They're both on hard tyres. And we saw how well Bullet Boy did on the harder compound tyre. Unfortunately for Two Spell Wizard, they're both only two seconds behind him. And he will have to stop again. So, uh... That could be the, the chance of a win over for Two Spell Wizard. We've seen the two stops don't work too well in the league at the moment. Lopez is desperate to get past Psycho Save now. He is all over the back of that car. And Jack Kiki isn't too far off this fight either. DRS open. Psycho Save is almost defenceless. Yep, Lopez is past him before we even get halfway down the street. Lopez up to fifth. Psycho Save is down to sixth. DJ Marshall is up to fourth place. Toxic looks to have got the better run out of the second part of the chicane onto the second long straight. Three tenths is the gap between first and second. Two spell covers the inside. Toxic goes to the outside. Can he break later? He looks like he can. There's a bit of contact there between the two leaguers. And Two spell holds on for another sector. That's over the door for Bullet Boy as well. It's right on the back of Toxic now. So the lead for first is separated by seven tenths between first, second, and third. And it looks as though Hapuri Boy and A.S. Ahina are fighting once again. That's over the 9th and 10th place. And the Alfa Romeo driver gets back in front. No, the racing point's coming back again. And he's got the position back. These two scrapping hard. DRS over for all three drivers. Toxic. Pulls to this. Oh, and two spell. Late defensive manoeuvre. And that opens the door for Bullet Boy. Who almost hits the back of two spell. Toxic tries to climb clean around the outside of two spell. Weirdo. There's a lot of argy bargy. Oh, and Bullet Boy's done them both. They're three wide out of the corner. Two spell and Bullet Boy still next to each other. Two spell has to uh, conceive the positions. He's down a third. And Bullet Boy looks to have taken the lead of this race. The legit lead. No strategy needed in it now. This is the fight for the actual lead. Bullet Boy leads from Toxic, who now leads from Two Spell. It's all changed. Toxic gained nothing in that transition. Bullet Boy jumped two places. Two Spell lost two. Topsy Turvy. Bullet Boy and Toxic have also traded places, so the league swaps once again. It goes from orange to yellow to yellow to orange to orange to yellow. The Renault driver of Toxic reclaims the lead. Fight for the league rages on for another lap. One tenth separates Toxic and Bullet Boys. They start lap 19 of 28. This is one of the best fights for a victory we've seen in a long time. We had a great fight around Hungary, and unfortunately that ended up in damage. Then we had a great fight around Austria, and that ended up with damage as well. Can this one go all the way to the end? DRS open once again for Bullet Boy. Toxic's got such a great straight line speed set up on. But you can see Bullet Boy is reeling him in. He's getting closer and closer. Toxic defense to the outside because you get a better run through the chicane. Bullet closer down the inside. We're on board with him. And that's a three second penalty for Bullet for cutting the chicane there. That could be the difference by the end of this race. If Toxic doesn't make another mistake and they stay at this gap, Toxic will win on trap position and on penalties decided. There'll be a three second gap at the end of the race because they both had one. Bullet Boy picks up a second. Mainger also is alongside Jack Kiki. This is over fifth place and two spells right behind him as well. So the fight for fifth is not done and dusted. And remember folks, this could work out as third place. Lopez needs to appear as the Psycho saying. Mainger gets in front. Two spell also gets in front. Hickey loses two in one there in one corner. He's down to seventh place. Trying to take these medium ties to the end. Psycho Sang is in. Will DJ Marshall come out in front of Psycho Sang? That's the first big tell. Okay, so I'll tell me that DJ Marshall's going to the medium tires, folks. So maybe he's not on those softs, so we say he'll be so quick. But Psycho Sang's just been released from his pit box. He is on the soft tires. DJ Marshall. Oh, it's going to be tight, I think. Psycho Sang's under the tunnel. DJ Marshall's going around the second corner. Psycho Sang X6. DJ is in front. He is in front, but it's only by two seconds. And Psycho Saints on smooth, soft tyres. And it looks like the leaguers are once again side by side. 
But it boy DRS over. He's got the corner already. Toxic Tomato has to settle down for the next best thing. Second place for Toxic. Bullet Boy takes first. Bullet Boy now has a mission on his hands to pull away from the fastest man in late breaking history. So Hickey comes out of the pits. He's comfortably behind uh, Psycho Sane. He's going to actually be in a fight with AOS Ahinga, but I think of those fresh soft tyres, it will comfortably get away. Psycho saying a second behind DJ Marshall. So the gap's not really close up there. And we need to get back on board with the leaguers as they once again psycho side by side through the sweeping left hand at the end of the second straight. And Toxic snatches back the lead from Bullet Boy. That must be the fifth or sixth time that the league has changed hands between these two. And there's Yellow the the Fries in sector two. I'm not sure who that is. Purple Petrol is into the pits. But everyone seems to be all hunky dory. No changes by the looks of it. Psycho saying he's got a bit of time on DJ Marshall. Maybe that was the issue, but all looks fine. Psycho saying put it to the outside of DJ. Of course, there'll be a late breaking maneuver from DJ. There always is. Yep, back down the inside he goes. But Psycho saying is wise to it. Covers off nicely and he takes sixth place for himself. Now he's chasing after Lopez, who I think. I'm so confused. Has Lopez made another stop and come out onto the soft tyres? Again. I don't think Lopez is... He did, you're right. Lopez hasn't made it work. He's come out six seconds in front of Lopez and DJ. That's an incredible strategy. He's up to fifth place and hunting down Mainer. He can end this race in fourth place. Well, I feel like it's deja vu. Because once again, Bullet Boy, three tenths behind Toxic as we start down the long straights. Toxic pulls to the left, Bullet Boy pulls to the right. They're side by side, and once again into the chicane, they go wheel to wheel. There's a little bit of tyre banging, but they're both through cleanly, and Bullet Boy takes the lead again. Toxic tries to get the run around the outside and gets the better traction, and they're still side by side going down the second straight. You can't count how many times they've gone side by side. Toxic looks have got the lead back again. Will Bullet Boy tuck him behind? He does. He breaks, he switches back to the inside, tries to switch back again, but Toxic has defended brilliantly well. And he holds on the lead for another lap. And Lopez is side by side with Mayer now as they drag down to the chicane. Lopez sweeps left nicely across Mayer there. No damage really. He hits the curb hard. That might affect his run out of the corner. Lopez has got the better run. DRS is activating. And yep, he goes back alongside the Ferrari driver. Can Lopez do anything? Can he break late enough? No, nope. maybe it comes off nicely. Holds on to P4 for now. Meanwhile, teammate up at the front is being overtaken once again by the McLaren driver and Bullet Boy. These two just can't leave each other alone. They just love being next to each other. Bullet Boy goes around the outside of the chicane. Can't get the move done. And Tufa once again gets the better traction out of the chicane. Under the hotel they go. Well, the bridge that separates the hotel and the grandstand. Toxic pulls to the outside. Bullet Boy back to the inside. Can he break late? You know, we love to see break, late, late breaking around here. Toxic covers off and holds onto the lead once more. Bullet Boy only has four and a half laps left to get the move done. And there's yellow flags in sectors one and two. Oh, her Pooly Boy is round again. Bullet Boy does the switch back into the hairpin. Toxic loses the back end and has to immediately cut to the inside to save it. That's surely going to open the door. Yep. Bullet Boy's got much better straight line speed. The DRS is open. He's passing him halfway down the straight. Can Toxic break late enough? He can to cover it off. There's a little bit of contact. But Bullet Boy does take the lead back properly this time. Toxic though has got great drive off the chicane. DRS is over for him now. They're side by side once again. Bullet Boy has the inside line, but Toxic just got great speed down the straights. Toxic sits around the outside. Bullet Boy holds the inside. He's not letting it go. They're still wheel to wheel, but Toxic once again gets the lead back. You can't fault their wheel to wheel driving. It is fantastic. Oh, Bullet Boy's done the switch back. You love to see this contact. Toxic's round. Toxic is round. And that puts him firmly into second place. That was a tough place for Toxic to try to come back down the inside with the incredibly long right-hander. And Bullet Boy, the sportsman that he is, has stopped on track and let the Renault back through for the lead of the race after Toxic has won the last seven in a row. Is it seven or is it eight? I think it's seven. Still. Incredible stuff. You, you you love to see that from the league. Um, fair play to Bullet Boy. He could have gone on and won that race. But he's let Toxic back through. 
Bullet Boy looks to be the closer of the attackers for this stage of the, uh, the straights. Three temps separating. And Bullet Boy does seem to have a lot more raw pace than Toxic at the moment. He's going for the move, back round to the outside. Two spells only 1.7 behind this fight, so any issue once again, and two spells will seize any places that are mistake, mistakes are made. And Bullet Boy does get the lead back. Toxic seems to always have nothing from him. I wonder if that spin burnt out his tyres. Can we see it on his little wheel down there? His rear tyres look to be on around 100 degrees, so they should be fine. It's usually over 100 or 5, and Bullet Boy misses the apex and goes wide, and that's reopened the door for Toxic in the third sector under the hotel, and nearly side by side through the tight and twisting penultimate, well, final section, coming up to the penultimate corner. Here comes Toxic. A little bit of swerving there from Bullet Boy. I mean, I don't know how obvious that was for Toxic, but it was just enough that that would have put me off. Bullet Boy does concede the lead though and Toxic once again back in front. It looks like Two Spill doesn't have enough in the tyre life I don't think to get close to these guys. And Jack Hickey is one tenth behind DJ Marshall. Of course if DJ Marshall loses this place to Hickey he will fall back to his famous eighth place so pretty well be too disappointed. Hickey and DJ Marshall are literally rubbing their tyres together. As uh, they go through the tight and twisting left, right at the end of the chain. DJ Marshall, all four tyres off the track, as he quite literally rides the chicane. Um, Jack Hickey picks up P7. DJ Marshall out of P8. That's all over there, folks. We'll see what happens on the straights. And for the first time, I think, since Toxic started winning, who will still take the lead and the record for most podiums in a row ever in the league, is separated by less than a second on track. Toxic crosses the line and wins! Bullet Boy finishes three seconds behind due to penalty. This Toxic crosses the line. No, Two Spill does jump in front of Bullet Boy. If he didn't get that other penalty, he might have beaten Toxic as well. That is disastrous for Alfa, who takes the Alfa, who takes the second spot. Lopez picks up fourth place. Maynard goes into fifth after that crazy start for him. Psychose crosses the line in fifth, but jumps Maynard because of penalties. And Jack kicking his first race back, looks across the line in seventh place. He jumps up to sixth. Mayo, unfortunately, again, down another place because of penalties. DJ Marshall crosses the line. Oh, Mayo again drops another place because of penalties. So he's down to eighth. DJ Marshall up to seventh. Hawking is the next man to come across the line who is trundling around. A tough race for you, Ben. But you are going to pick up some points. Yeah, some points at least. Um, yeah, just so annoying. I know it should have been quite a lot more. You beat Mayna! You beat Mayna because of penalties! You're up to 8th place! I think Mayna may have got one for jumping the start because everyone is beating Mayna. Even her Pony Boy might have a chance because A always picked up points. Purple Petrol's in ninth place. He picks up 2 points. And Hapuli, Hapuli Boy, you never know, he might get 11. There's no point in it now, so Mayna's unfortunately dropped out after actually finishing 5th place on track. He's going slowly. I don't know if Hapuli Boy realises he might get something. No, no improvement for Hapuli Boy. A mental end to this race. A lot of people jump up, but uh, crazy, crazy scenes at Abu Dhabi. Let's get to that podium. Well, it's a familiar black and yellow suit standing atop the step there. Toxic Tomato takes what I believe to be his eighth consecutive victory in the late breaking online racing league. It was separated by only six tenths on track, but due to penalties, unfortunately, Bullet Boy drops all the way down to third, and two spell, if he didn't pick up a penalty on that last lap and had three seconds removed from his time, would have won this race. He ends up being 2.7 seconds behind because of it. So that's your top three, folks. Final confirmation there, as we said, Toxic, Two Spell and Bullet Boy are your top three after a fascinating, exciting race. Lopez does a great job to recover from 7th to finish 4th, Psycho saying from 8th to 5th, and Jack Hickey does well in his first race back to go from 10th to 6th. DJ Marshall had a very strong start to the race and didn't do too badly on strategy either. He's gone from 12th to 7th, then starting in 3rd, and unfortunately putting it in that wall, he absolutely binged it down to 8th. Purple Petrol picks up 2 points in the league, which is fantastic for him. He's up to 9th. Ayo Sahina also picks up a point from 15th and last on the grid. So that's the final point there. Mayna had the crazy start, the most fair racing man you'll ever see. He's in 11th, unfortunately, unfortunately excuse me. The Blue Boy is in 12th, and the DNFers, Carnes, Johannes, and Nova Vest, all out pretty much on the first out other than Carnes. That's pretty tough to see, but thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you in the next one. I've been Samuel Sage. And I've been Ben Hocking. And remember, keep breaking late.